All right, so here's the oncoming force, Johnny Walker, certainly a guy who can take this torch in Brazil and run with it. He has become a massive star over there, and all indications are he's just getting started. The whiskey drinkers love the name, but they fall in love with the fighter. Johnny Walker is a fantastic competitor, a guy that can knock you out and finish you in no time. He goes at his opponent with this recklessness, and he goes in a way that shows no respect to whoever he is fighting, and it shows in the way and in the time that he spent since he's made his UFC debut. And he is every bit 6'6", and one of oh, the few guys so that can actually match John Jones' length in this light heavyweight division. Size matters. Johnny Walker has size and then some. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 19 wins, 7 losses. He stands 6 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Johnny! Walker! And now with producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting six boxing matches tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Able to check that kick as well. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Look at him. 
drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice punch by Lee. Leg kick. is all about that left kick to the body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Stay aggressive on those kick pads. Oh, a huge block there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Big kick land. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Able to connect. Just misses with the straight right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lands flush with that right hand. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Ooh, head kick land, he's hurt. Beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Let's go. Keep that footwork going. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body. Again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Single collar tie now. Beautiful punch. Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. I mean, he's cutting this out the side with a beautiful leg kick. He's going after the head. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was gonna be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, Johnny Walker with another early land. This is a guy who fights like he is double parked outside, one of the bigger power threats in this light heavyweight division. And prevailing wisdom is that eventually Walker is going to find himself into a UFC championship scenario. That one snuck in. Nice strike. 
Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just missed with the left there. Nice body kick. Left side. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. But even with the green arm you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right hand upstairs. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used his punch to get to the target. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Slips to avoid that left. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, another head kick lands. How is this man still standing? Unbelievable toughness, but even better execution on the other side. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Massive head kick. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Liver kick. Nice strike. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Ten minutes in the bush. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. 
All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Went for the inside leg kicks. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Lee gets caught with that punch. Big head kick land. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Get those combinations going. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. And they separate. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Keep your hands up for me. Come on. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big kick lands. Lands with the right hand. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Good stick. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Relax, relax. Keep your nice head kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Right left combo by Lee. Big kick. Right hand punches the clinch. Nice leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Ooh, what a punch. Big kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back. Truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Ooh. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Seconds winding down in round three. Nice streak. 
punch. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, that's a nice strike. Such a fast leg kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Nice punch here. Oh! Right hand upstairs. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Oh, big left hook there. And he continues to work the body here. Big head kick land. Oh, blocks the shot. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And they separate. Right hand upstairs. Can't take many of those, you better check. Slips the punch. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter, you put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. And that is a serious cut. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. There's no give on that leg kick. Lands the right hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Straight punch land. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Huge block there. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from land. And they separate. So there it is. Longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Head kick lands. Got the single collar tie. Now connects with a right. Oh, nice right hand, John. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Lee's kick is blocked. Just missing on the high kick there. Great punch. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Missed with that attempt.
What a body kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. He ripped the body there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. What a punch. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Horn sounds for the end of round two. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice punch lands. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Real sneaky body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Side kick is true. Head kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh man, head to land. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Whip his hip into that kick. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing, and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Big body kick. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 43 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon!
right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver.